Welcome everyone, Drake Hawkins with again, and we're back in Journey of Life. And uh, we've been uh, working on a new log storage thing. It's way overbuilt, but I'm moving it. So our idea, previously we had the logs piled here. And when you walk in here, you had to kind of like go around or jump over the piles. Not very efficient. What I'd like to do, hey, hey stray plank. What I'd like to do is have a system where I can just pile them here and then be nicely sloped. Like this issue, it was too big too far away so we're gonna fix that and that's about the height you want to put on a ramp so we got that all sorted so let's uh, let's buzz through repair or removing this other stuff and uh, hit Z T then Z and remove everything that's not wanted there and I'm gonna fall to my death no maybe not uh, we'll remove all that and we'll get it out of the way and then I can turn uh, th switch to my hammer where did my hammer go did I drop my hammer somewhere I think I dropped my hammer there it is. Don't know how I dropped my hammer on the ground. Oh yes, I do. I died. That's how I dropped my hammer on the ground. I uh, stepped away after the last recording and left the uh, game running and I was almost out of water, so I died of thirst. So it has happened, guys. Alright, so we got a collection of materials. Uh, let's hit one to bring up our hammer. Pound in the birch here. And over here. And we got some uh, planks from our storage. And there we go. Now, what this does is lets us stand right here. I don't think I can put another foundation in there. Let's see. Can I... No, it's... Oh, wait. Hit, hit H. There we go. We can put a foundation right in there. Ooh, I kind of like that. Let's make it birch. It makes sense to me. Uh, then we got enough birch to finish it? Good. Not quite. Some in the chest here. I brought over a chest full, full of... Whoops. Brought a chest full of birch over here, so we'll do that. And we'll bang that in. Excellent. Now, what I need to do is move all those logs. I'll do that. Uh, I'll show you how that's going to work. I think it's pretty straightforward. I just threw a plank somewhere. I don't know where it landed. Oh, well. Uh, I think it's, yeah, fairly straightforward. What we're going to... Oh. we got a lot of junk sitting around because we've been making a mess. Okay, so we got all that put in. Got our trash put away from the cleanup. And all our logs are now sitting in a pile where we had them before, so we'll uh, get out of build mode, grab them all, put them in our inventory, and uh, we'll just uh, pile them up here. If I hit... Oh, it's a little off. I mean, I could have done better lining it up. It'll bug the daylights out of me. We'll pretend like it won't. Um, if I most down, or move down to a reasonable height here, I can just pile these up. Part of the problem of having just a standard pile is that it's... Uh, it gets thinner as it goes up and we want more storage as we put stuff in here and we don't want it to be falling all over the place so we uh, can do this and then we can pile them up like that and I think this to me is a fantastic little option for storage if I come back here I'll just be taking the ones that are on the ground still put them in our log storage our very high-tech log storage Let's uh, see how that handles it when it gets to the slope. All right, and I, if I drop one on the slope, it's just going to roll right down into place. So we can uh, hopefully fairly easily, I'm, I'm kind of doing this, taking my time putting them in, so it doesn't do too much of that, but well, it made it back down onto the pile anyways. Didn't bounce away for three miles. That's something. Maybe it'll be an issue. I don't know. It'll look nice when it's done though, I think. So we'll clean that. We got to grab the rest of these and we'll see what it looks like when it's totally finished and totally filled. So there's the start of our wood pile. Haven't done a ton. I got distracted with other buildy projects, planning thoughts and ideas for uh, the rest of this episode. But this, this is what I wanted to see. These guys can be grabbed straight off the ground and plunked right in there. And it's just going to mess up my log pile bad behind me. And I'll pretend like I don't care. Look at that. Little holes. That's okay. It'll just fall down in place. And do what it's supposed to. Uh, so next thing we're uh, doing here is uh, planning. I'm thinking somewhere in here is going to be the house. I don't want to be too uh, squared and symmetrical. So our storage there. We got a carpenter shop here. We might have a nice little uh, no town centery something there if there is such a thing. Um, maybe we'll put our flag in there. And uh, over here will be the first housing or bunkhouse or whatever it is that we have to build for the settlement. If we tab when we go to settlement, it says we need a house. It also says we need a blacksmith. And we have the other two, so let's see what... What was that? Storage. Oh my. It lists all the things I have in storage. Well, that is really cool. 
Wonderful. Uh, the blacksmith shop, I'm thinking, over here. What do you guys think? Have a double ramp up and a nice little L-shaped, um, I guess, 4x4, four four, but only the L of the 4x4, four four, so one corner, one quarter missing. It'll overlap here. Fit nicely in there. I think we might make that out of stone foundation, limestone. And uh, the house over here will probably make a uh, clay, clay thatch design in this. Uh, maybe a proper clay foundation and thatch walls. Doesn't have to be super spancy fancy, but uh, so we'll I'll think about the layout and design of this. Doesn't have to be huge. I don't want it to be huge. I'm thinking a fairly, fairly small house in here to start with. Maybe we set it back a bit from the road, but we'll we'll get that going. Okay, so on to our house build for today. I'm thinking we'll make like a maybe a three by three house. You know what? Let's make it two by two with a deck on the front. Make a little little tiny deck on the front of the two by two. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, so I'm going to come out of build mode. We got just uh, thatch foundations in here. I'm thinking we probably want to switch them to clay foundations. So we'll hit T. Bring up the uh, foundations, they're right here. Scroll it to the, not the wooden ones. Actually, yeah, we'll scroll it to a wooden one. I'll place that in there. Hit Z, remove these ones. Two, three. And then what we can do is we can actually use the attachment that we just placed to place the new ones. So, do that. Go back to the clay version that I want. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Hit Z to come over here and remove this one. Boom, like that. Lovely, and I want to ramp access to this because it is slightly elevated. So I will get out of build, grab this guy, shove him out of the way. Maybe we'll clean up our mess here as well. Move it over. Move over our mess, not clean it up. Just move it over a little. Get that stuff out of the way. And uh, we can start uh, hammering in all this project here. This is going to be clay and thatch. So we don't have a lot of clay with us. Let's go load up on the clay, see what we got. We're going to have to go mine some more, but uh, we did build our new fancy shovel, which we have placed. Uh, we put it down somewhere. It's down by the work, by the table that builds them. Oh, just me or is that a little blurry looking? Just seemed a little blurry there. For, oh, you know what? It is a little blurry because it's telling me I'm dying of thirst. So I was like, when, why, why the world? The world's getting a bit blurry. I can't, I can't see straight. Game. It must be the game bugged, right? That's totally the problem. It's not at all the Drake that's bugged and doesn't know how to use a water cup. Nope, that couldn't possibly be the problem. Ah, refreshing. There we go. Fill that right back up, and then we'll get hungry in a while, and we'll make some fine coconut breakfast, or lunch, or whatever time of day it is. Now, I uh, have the, a bit of clay. Uh, I didn't bring my hammer, which is the whole point of building. So let's grab that. All right, so we've got our, a little bit of clay. Um, I didn't shovel it up. I actually just brought it from the storage. I'll put my tools back in their spots. Uh, this has five, it costs five clay and five birch, so we can grab um, about that much birch. Three, four, five, six. Sure, that's good. It looks like it'll get us started anyways. There we go. Lovely. Get a j little jump up here. See if we got enough materials to get this first layer in. Nope. Uh, way, way too few materials. So I'm going to go grab a bunch of clay and uh, I'll be back with you when uh, it's done. I think I can actually hammer in all the birch separately. So we'll do that. Uh, then I will drop off the bucket of birch. Alright, so that basically used up a full chest worth of birch, which is pretty fantastic. So I'm going to go uh, drop this birch that I've got left over here. We're going to take the hammer and I guess we'll leave it here as well. I'm going to grab my chest and I'm going to go search for some clay. We'll mine it up really super fast with our shovel. There's our first piece right here. Now you've seen how quick the clay, the regular shovel works. It's still a hammering action, but look how quick it is. It used to take like 25 or 30 hits to get that. Boom. Done like that. So we're going to very quickly harvest up a bunch of clay and we'll be right back. 
Okay, so clay is pretty easy to get now that we've got these magic tools. Uh, we stopped by the old village, the old starter spot, whatever it was, and I uh, got ourselves uh, some mangoes to keep my uh, food and water up. As many of you have noticed, I'm not particularly stellar at doing that. Uh, and uh, we're ready to uh, put all this stuff together now. I'm going to grab that shovel, put it down, grab the hammer. Thank you. And we'll finish building this lovely foundation for the house. Now, a house uh, can, I guess, technically be on a single tile, like a lot of these houses, a lot of these places. Um, but you need to put stuff in it, obviously. But mm, let's see. Do we have... Do we need a ramp? Yeah, totally need a ramp, because I just run right into that. So let's go to a little quick uh, ramp piece. We'll do, the, we'll do the thin one. It just seems to fit for that idea. All right, and uh, I'm going to grab the, uh, what do we need? Some, some sort of uh, one two meter plank, one one meter plank. No problem. Give me uh, this, please. Mm -hmm. And one of these, please. Love it. Excellent. Put that in place. Good. Now we got our access, so villagers can actually walk up here. Or settlers, I guess they're called, can actually walk up here. Uh, next thing we want to do is uh, go ahead and actually claim this as a uh, as a house. We'll do that in a second. All right. So I just went and swapped the uh, chest. Uh, the old, the other one was full of clay. This one's now full of birch because we're gonna make this beauty out of birch. Now, um, I'm gonna hit uh, U. I'm gonna mouse over this thing right here. I think we can do it up on top anywhere. Um, yeah, it just has to be kind of like in. Yeah, it's a little finicky, but we're gonna go down there and hit E. Of course, not left click. E and to confirm that this is a house, but it won't count because there is a wooden bed missing. As you might expect, a fireplace and a chest missing. So, um, I'm not a big fan of the whole fireplace thing being needed without having a foundation to put it on, but we'll uh, we'll we'll get those done. And uh, a bed, a foundation, and a chest. So if I take this chest here, it has to be a wooden chest, and I put it anywhere on this foundation, and I hit U, and now mouse over it says wooden chest times one has one. That's awesome. So you uh, can be kind of oops. You can be moved properly to sit on the deck, because this is going to be our deck. Uh, hit T. I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of uh, cosmetic work here. Let's find... Uh, hmm, do you want, Should we do these vertical rails? I like those. Let's do those for the, uh, for the house. There and there. That's lovely. Now we're going to find the pillars. And I think we'll make the pillars with clay to make them a little tougher. Uh, I mean, it's not a real thing, but you, it seems to fit. Seems to set, make sense to me. Okay, and now uh, let's let's put a door in here. Uh, I want the waddle fence doors. That's what we'll call them. The wicker fence doors. Um, let's go. How are we gonna do these? Uh, we'll go solid walls like here and here. I think we'll have like something that looks out maybe. Yeah, no, let's let's go the waddle the solid walls over here. Uh, we'll put a window windowed spot in there. I'd like maybe this corner to be windowed as well. And slap T a couple times. There we go. We'll we'll make that kind of solid looking ish there. Um, the fence there, or solid there, and mm, let's put a window in that spot because, just because. All right, that looks good. Maybe we'll have our bed in uh, this corner. Seems like a good idea. Now, uh, on top of that, we're going to need, uh, well, I don't know if we need any of this. Need is probably the wrong word. We want a ceiling. But I want to do something a little different this time. Something I thought of uh, that might be interesting. Now, I can switch the material type. And we will try to make this all as uh, cheap slash efficient as we can. I like that all the sticks face the same direction. That's quite nice. Um, let's find a way to get at that. There we go. It'll be 
maybe a tiny bit claustrophobic? I'm not sure. Uh, and I would like to try something a little different. Let's see if we can get, oops, we can get this to work somehow here. Now, uh, oh, there we go. How do I make that work? No, that's not going to want to do anything there. Hmm. I kind of want those to... Don't like it. Don't like it at all. It's only wanting to rotate like on the like this. I want this to face not that way. I want it to face the other direction. I'm not sure why it's not. Um, that's weird. How do I get that to advance snapping shift and alt? Oh, well, okay. Did I just deactivate advanced snapping? I did, okay. That's not going to work at all. Well, that's not what I wanted it to do. Mm. Okay, this is not going to be as fancy of a rooftop as I hoped. So, too bad for me. Alright, we'll just make a nice little quaint housing. Um. Yeah, I don't want it to be a super tall thing. So we won't put a won't put a top on the deck. Come on, rotate nicely for me. Oh yeah, baby, she's connected. Excellent. A little finicky, but every every survival game's building system, roof building system, is finicky. There isn't a nice one <laughs> that I've met. If you know one, let me know. Uh, now, can I fit that in there now? See, that should latch in there beautifully, but it doesn't seem to want to. I'm really, really having a hard time moving here. Let's try it from the inside. Uh, you know what? I might need to remove this thatch ceiling. And then let's go to the... That guy. Can we get you to connect? Maybe. Maybe. Hold on. Did it work? Oh, ho. Oh, it might have worked, guys. Now, it'll look wonky inside, but that's why we're cheating with the ceilings. Ha <laughs> ha! Huzzah! Huzzah! I think it'll work. I think that is our beautiful little house right there. Oh, yes. Lovely. Mm-hmm. All right, let's make that thing happen. All right, so each of these pillars needs to go in first before you can build anything else, and I don't have the clay with me, so I'm just going to use up some of the thatch that I've got. Um, I think it's called birch, but I keep calling it thatch because it feels like what it is. The twigs. Uh, are all the corners in now? I think they are. All the pillars are... All the pillars have that. They just need their clay. What's this guy need? Planks and... Planks. Okay, we had, we had a plank sitting around. That's why it worked. Okay, let's run and grab that. Let's get our clay. Get in there and make that thing happen. Okay, right, let's get our clay now do that. Oh, apparently that really effective hammering. I pounded them both in. Must have had some thatch sitting around. There we go. And this one. And there. Lovely. What does it take for the ceiling? Uh, it's planks and grass. That's for the big top. What about the ceiling pieces? I don't know. We might have to take those ceilings down, actually. Let's do that. Let's take the uh, ceilings out. Thatch ceiling. Ceiling. And make sure we're only mousing over the, the word thatch ceiling there. Because I think we want to put those in after we get the other part in. Now, this is going to look ugly until... Oh! <laughs> it's very ugly. Shh! That sucks. It really sucks. Seriously, dudes, that's how you made that? That's the worst dormer possible. It's got a sunroof now. I don't like that. Oh, that makes me sad. That makes me super sad. I want to make that fit. Can I make that fit? Alright, let's bring it back to daylight here. Okay, that... How will that work? Can I do that? I mean, it looks like it wants to snap there. It says it's obstructed, so we'll see how it looks 
It might look really derpy. It might look awesome. I feel like it should be able to have... Yeah, that dormer piece is dumb. <laughs> it's a great idea to have them, but literally the only thing it'll work on is a, like, outhouse. That's basically it. Which we don't have. We should. Um, yeah, so that, that one, that's not working very nicely. Let's put these uh, pieces back in place, though. Okay, last back wall in here. Oh, missing a bit of th thatch. So we'll do that, and then we've got to see about how we get this ceiling to look right. It might be a bit of a stretch to try to get this beast in place. You're going to need uh, uh, two-meter planks. Presumably they all have the same in ingredients, including the dormer, maybe? Three of them. Three dry, and you guys are... Three and three, okay. Three, six, nine, eighteen. Eighteen of the dried stuff. Eighteen of the willow, willow wisps, and then we have eight, uh, eighteen of the two meter planks, which is pretty outrageously large. And put that back. There we go. Oh, we can't jump off there. We're gonna need to go get some more willow soon. We've uh, emptied out the the loft put my bed over here when I died of thirst while not paying attention to the screen. I finished the last episode and I just didn't uh, shut her off and go update all that jazz, so... Looks like we kind of have to like stand one just barely below it. Yes, yes, yes. Get that in place. Is that all of them? Excellent. Now for the planks. Need about the same amount of 18 meter planks. Or 18 meter. Need 36 meters of planks. We need 18 of these guys. That's not enough. Well, it'll be a start. There we go. Get those ones in place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can jump up on the deck at this point. Where did my hammer go? Where did my hammer go? Out of my number one slot. Get back in there. Now, I don't know that this dormer thing is going to look like, but we'll, we'll waste the material to test it for science. Now, it's ugly inside, obviously, but what does it look like from, like, across the road? Does it look dumb? Certainly does. That's too bad. I would love to be able to use that somehow. If you guys have figured out a way that you've found that that actually looks good, let me know. Because I think it's really dumb that it doesn't work. I'm very saddened. But we'll fix it up. We'll put in the proper piece that actually does work. And uh, make it happen. Why is there so much junk on the floor here? Stuff popping through the floor that I harvested before, maybe? I don't know. Looks like you get all of your pieces ba back. There's a... There's a plank on my ceiling. Did you get what was up there? Stop leaving junk hanging up on the ceiling, Drake. <laughs> I don't know if there's still planks hanging on the ceiling. Looks like there is. Oh, bother. All right, I think we might have gotten it. We got a plank up there we got to rescue. Come on, come on, buddy. You can do it. Yes, we got it. Mission accomplished. Ooh. Oh, well, we're up here. Let's put our ceiling back, our other ceiling piece in, our roof piece in. Uh, in which case, if we have that working, I'll just place that there. Hit T to close, to get in there, and bash that beauty into place. Looks nice from up here. Lovely view of the village as it starts to form. Uh, and we'll get rid of this. Thank you much. Excellent. All right, let's grab our planks and put these, these uh, fence in place, and then we'll be good. All right, hammering some planks into place here, some fence railings. 
five one meter planks. Jeepers. Okay, I didn't realize that. I thought it was two each. Did not bring enough materials for this. I need ten planks just to do that. That's pretty uh, impressive. Alright, but what I'm going to do is click here, go here, and we got 12, uh, 12 2 meter planks in this pile right here, so we can actually queue them up. And we'll come back and clean that up after. Get my handy dandy hammer. Can we finish it? Yes, we can! Alright, there we go. We got our little storagey things out here. Some grass coming through the ceiling, the floors, which we will definitely be sad about. Uh, and we need to put in a bed, we need to put in a fireplace, then we need to make them, and then we need to uh, be happy that we've got ourselves a real house. But the bed needs to something needs something a little different, because this bed will not do. Um, we could we could test it, throw it in there and show you. Now, I can uh, sleep till morning. Lovely. First time I've done that in a long time. But we reset our bed to there, but that doesn't count because if we hit U, it still says we have a, need an advanced wooden bed and we need a fireplace. So let's get those into place. So back at the uh, storage place here, we can actually place this bed uh, to see what it takes to make. Now uh, we have we need two meter planks for it. I don't think we've got any of those, but we need cloth, which we can't make until we have. The weaver, it's called a cloth weaver, it is a loom. That baby right there is what we need to make the cloth with. Um, where do we want this? I don't know, probably in this corner to be honest. So I'm going to get rid of these, I'm going to clean this stuff up and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, let's go grab ourselves, uh, let's see, four two meter planks there and four two meter planks there. All right, we got our planks, and I just realized our big mess from our craft here is uh, still here. So I'm just dragging them from the nearby tab right straight onto the um, storage unit, and that works absolutely perfectly, which is great. And I'll take those. I think I've got ten now, not eight. But that's fine. Now we can go in and uh, hammer some of this into place, like this, too. And then we need some rope. Hammer these ones into place. There we go. We need our cloth, but we don't have it yet. We got rope there. There you go. Now this is made. We're going to move him. And uh, there is a weaver like station, I guess, later. But we're going to toss that right there. See if that works without making too much mess. I want these guys out of the way. I want them on the far corner because they're the wrong thing for this job. That's also the wrong thing for this job. Let's see, is this one got what? Yes, this is what we need. Now, we go into here. Now, if I click on crafting and I go to craftables, this is the same ratio as in my workbench. <laughs> it's a zero, zero, because I got more than 99. Uh, I craft this, and you'll see, it'll craft and make me one rope. Right? I've got six right now. Seven, okay? If I click on this guy, Item rope times eight takes four fiber, but it makes eight rope. So a you can make them in a lot faster batches, and b you can really mess your flooring up because it throws them all over the place. But they'll craft, they'll finish. They're actually going into my inventory because I'm standing nearby. Uh, unfortunately, there's no linking inventories to your um, like you can't you can't link a chest, an output chest, or anything for this, or an input chest. I'd be okay with no inputs, but an output chest would be really nice. Have them just dump right into there. But, I mean, I can do that if I'm standing here. But it just leaves a mess for you when you're not. Okay, then the other thing this thing can do, I'm just going to cancel that job, is uh, make actual cloth. Used uh, crafting a variety of items. So let's go ahead and make, I don't know, 50, 40 cloth it is. I was going to say 50, but 40 is what we got material for, so... Throw those boys in there. This will make me some cloth. I don't know what the timer is. It's a lot slower, but it is uh, looming out some cloth for us. There we go. And how many did we need for that build? Two. Two to finish the bed. And there we go. We got our two. Kaboom, kaboom. Look at that beauty, huh? Wouldn't you like to have a nice long snooze in that thing? It's our lovely um, woven wicker hammock thing. 
It's pretty awesome. Now we're going to actually take that baby and stick it right, uh, kingly right in the middle. And I'm thirsty again, really. Ugh. The nerve. Oh, that's a horrible space for that. These, these, this grass coming out of the floor is going to freak me out. Okay, put that in there. Lovely. And we'll put a little, uh, I, I guess this is the guest bed. I don't, I don't know how this works. All right, we'll now go ahead and put our fireplace in, which is our next piece we need. We have one over here. And, uh, I mean, we're not doing any of this stuff here, so I think we'll actually grab this one and we'll just put it in place, and that will count for our build, hopefully. <laughs> I think it will. I don't know if this upgraded one uh, does the job or not. You know what we can do? We can stick it out on the deck. That seems like a more sensible thing to do. There we go. We'll just pretend that it's well, well surfaced underneath. Now, this should actually act as... Our settlement's house. It does. Ha <laughs> Excellent. Huzzah. And it's a pretty thing. It's not, we don't get the dormer, but kind of sad about that, but we'll make do. Uh, I'm going to grab my shovel before I forget where it is. And uh, we'll put a cut in there. And that's uh, going to be a little, maybe a little bit shorter video for today. But uh, we did get the uh, look at our final woodworks storage, or log storage thing. And uh, building a little two by three house with a nice little deck. It's very homey. I feel like we're really starting to move in and make this place our own now. So thank you so much for all your feedback and uh, involvement. And I would love to hear from you in the comments down below uh, what you think about the blacksmith. Do we build them there? Is that something that works? Is there is there hints and warnings I should be getting before I build this thing? I don't know. I, I think we might get into like proper whole like ingot smelting and forging and all sorts of fun stuff. So let's uh, deal with our thirst issues before we call it a day because you know I'm always doing the, oh oh yeah I'm always doing that but I don't have my tools I left them left them in the station hopefully I left them in the right place yes we left our axe standing I love it all right grab that guy we'll actually grab all our gear and we'll get uh, a bunch of things done uh, to prepare for the blacksmiths for tomorrow let's uh, get out of inventory mode put my coconuts right there smash them can I actually smash them with a the hammer? Sort of. Or I can use my hatchet, which is super one-shot quick. Boom! I just wanted to see if you could smash it with a hammer. Alright, we'll use up all those lovely tasty coconuts. We're happy. We're well fed. We got ourselves a nice little home and a nice little workshop or woodwork area and our storage. And tomorrow is blacksmith time. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you in game. <laughs>